It's not the first time it's happened in our area, and it likely won't be the last. Yeah, another local town looking to cut costs. And one option on the table, disbanding the police force. Ralph Iannotti joins us now with the story. Ralph. Yeah, thanks very much, guys. This time, it's Brownsville looking at the possibility of eliminating the police force. Uh, there was a lot of debate and discussion about the idea tonight, but there was no official vote. The borough of Brownsville, population about 2,300, has two full-time and three part-time police officers. This community is considering adopting an ordinance which would eliminate the police department and turn law enforcement over to state police. But the idea of disbanding the police force is not going over well. If there's police cars present, there's less crime. About 100 people turned out Tuesday night to voice their displeasure and show support for the police force wearing these blue ribbons. It is an indi indication of community togetherness and safety to support our police department specifically by keeping the police department intact in Brownsville. A restaurant owner said he didn't think the town could rely on state police if there was an urgent need for an officer. And we called the state police because of some uh, offensive language, loud music, we know it was drugs, drinking by underage. You know. Saw it with our own eyes. And in three hours, we never got a response. A recent report found of the more than 2,500 municipalities across Pennsylvania, nearly half of them had no local police force. In fact, eight rural counties have no police departments at all. Of the 10 biggest municipalities relying on state police, three are in this area, Hemfield and Unity Townships and White Township. A representative of the local state lawmaker told the Brownsville meeting that bringing state police in may cost more than the community bargained for. Governor Wolf has proposed a $25 a head fee to municipalities for those that do not have municipal police forces. With a population of Brownsville Borough, that would be over $50,000 of taxpayer money without any additional police coverage. So tonight, no up or down vote on the police department in Brownsville. The council meets again in a couple of weeks, and I'm sure we'll be hearing more about it then. We're live tonight. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.